What is going on, folks? How you guys doing? And welcome back to another episode. Um, right now it is about 6:40 a.m. It, it's it's early as heck, and um, yeah, I'm up because I'm going fishing. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm just gonna go to the local pond, and um, what I'm gonna do today is catch some catfish and do a catch and cook with them. Now, um, well. I don't know, they're not actually catfish, they're bullhead, but whatever. But anyway, yeah, we're going to do a catch and cook with whatever we catch today. This should be interesting. It's a local city dump, basically. It's awful pond. Disgusting. But we're going to eat fish from there because, I don't know. That just sounds like a video to get some views. We got this kind of filet-ish kind of knife deal here. This should be good. And then uh, we got a tiny little cutting board. Got the fish up on. This catch and cook should be kind of interesting. I'm just gonna clean the fish at the lake and then I'm going to do the cooking at home. But uh, yeah, that's that's our little setup for this catch and cook. And uh, yeah, I, I will see you guys at the pond. Okay, folks, we have made it to the pond. It's about seven o'clock right now. And uh, yeah, the sun's kinda, kinda already up. I thought it was gonna rise a little later, but anyway, we're here. I'm looking, I'm seeing a ton of panfish around. And I have seen some bullhead already cruise through, so that's definitely good to see. But uh, yeah, basically what I can do right now is put on a hot dog and I'll uh, chuck it out there and hopefully a bullhead comes and eats it. I'm really winded right now from my bike ride. It was only like a freaking 10 minute bike ride too. I don't really know why I'm winded, but anyway, we're here. We're gonna be throwing out hot dogs to start with and uh, hopefully we catch them. Let's, let's go. Look at our first bullhead finally. I think this guy might be a little bit small for a catching cook. Yeah, he's a little bit small. But, um, finally got the freaking first fish. Holy cow. I think I might just jump to the first fish of the day, like, which is right now. But I've been fishing, guys, for at least three hours. I got sidetracked and started to go catch carp. But, uh, yeah, now, now I finally settled down. I found the bullhead. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go nuts on these guys. But, yeah, that guy was just a little bit too small for the catching cook. But hey, first, first fish of the day, that's that's ideal. Second bullhead of the day, we got number two here. Literally like right, right after the next cast, the next cast. This one is still too small to eat in my opinion, but he's getting close. He, this one's really fat actually. This one's really fat, wow. Come on buddy, get on hook there. Holy cow guys, look how fat that bullhead is. Jeez, okay, still too small to eat. But uh, we found them, like I said, so we're probably gonna start uh, start going start going crazy on these things. I'm hoping for a big one, guys. Oh, that was instant. Eater, eater. That's an eater. That is an eater for sure, boys and girls. Look at that one. Okay, that's sick. First eater catfish. Well, wow, that was instant, but uh, okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep five for the catch and cook, but. This is number one right here. This is a nice beefy bullhead. Okay. He's kind of going crazy, but I don't know. I'm just pretty freaking happy that we got our eater. It just it feels good, finally. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how many of the, fir the fish before I caught this eater I'm going to include. But uh, yeah, this is actually bull number six on the day, so cool. Wow, he's missing an eye, too. This one's, this one's pretty old. But, uh, yeah, we know what we're going to do. We're going to put him on a stringer. I have a stringer on me. Actually, no, I don't. I just have a bag. Okay, we're just gonna put them in the bag full of water for now, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna gonna catch some more. Oh, I just saw one, guys. One's on it. It's gonna get hit in three seconds. Got one. Big one. Come here. Yes. Another eater. Another eater, boys and girls. Look at this one. That is a nice one. I freaking just saw him eat it, and I just swinged him in. Like, I was, like, not losing this fish. Well, wow, that is a nice one. That is another nice eater. Jeez. Jeez, buddy. Look at that. Another nice eater bullhead of a hot dog. We are going to put him in the bag. Oop, put him in the bag with his buddy. And uh, yeah, let's let's go get some more. Got one, guys. Another one. Too small. This guy's too small. Okay, I don't know if this, this this one's like a black bullhead and the other ones are like yellow bullheads or brown bullheads. Like these bullheads have different color combos on them. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. But uh, 
Yeah, another bullhead for us that is not big enough to keep. He's borderline. You know, I think about it, but just a little bit on the small side. Oh, got one, guys. Big one. Huge. Holy smokes. Holy crap, guys. I was just about to put my raincoat on because it's starting to rain. And uh, we just got a giant for this pond. Holy smokes. Holy crap. This is like the biggest one I ever caught out of here. Jeez. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. The rain is starting to come down hard. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, we got bullhead number three. We're going to put him in the bag. And I'm going to put my raincoat on. And, uh, yeah, but check that out. That's awesome. <laughs> guys, we got another one. I thought this one was bigger when I took the bobber down, but it's definitely not. <laughs> little guy, but we're gonna get him unhooked here. Too small, but still cool. Still cool little fish. See ya, bud. Guys, we just took him a giant, <laughs> like a literal giant. Holy crap. Okay. This is number four for, for the eater. This is number our fourth eater. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This is such a big one. Come here. Holy smokes. Holy crap. Ouch, that thing hurt when it bit me. That is a giant bullhead for this pond. Holy smokes. Jeez. This thing is massive. Look at that. Jeez. All right, so basically I just I just caught this one like about three seconds ago and I was debating on keeping it or not. So yeah, that's going to go. I was debating if that was an eater. But uh, yeah, this guy is going to be our fourth eater, not that guy. Put him in the bag. We got another one, another freaking cat. This one... It's fighting really hard. Um, whew. This is a, eh, it's in an eater. It's, it's almost an eater, I'd say. I'd say this is an eater. Yeah, this is an eater. We'll cut this guy up too. This is number five. Um, I said I was gonna keep five. I think I might keep a little bit more. I think I might go to like seven or something. But uh, yeah, that's, that's sick. Oh wow, his air bladder's in his mouth. That's so weird. Huh, well. Kind of a good thing I'm keeping this one then. He's bleeding. But uh yeah, another another cat in the bag. Look at that. Wow. That one's huge. Guys, we got another one. Another catfish. Well, oh, this one is fighting hard. Jeez. Come here, buddy. Another eater, for sure, another eater. Wow. This one fought hard though. Okay, he's hooked weird, so I'm gonna grab him like a pro. Under his spines. Can't get me like that, buddy. Now I'm gonna, oh, oh, okay. That's sketchy, that's sketchy. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna put this guy in the bag. We're gonna, we're gonna get back to catching more. Guys, we got another one, another freaking bullhead. This one is, it's too small, but it's another one. I'm looking to get one more. I said I get seven, I have six right now. So, uh, yeah, let's get this buddy unhooked. Oh, he's pinned, jeez. Okay, get him unhooked and there you go. Guys, we got, we got eater number seven here. And this is the amount we're keeping. So this one is nice. Choke the hot dog. Oof. It's a beauty. Eater number freaking seven. We're gonna empty out the bag now. We're gonna clean them right here and uh, we're gonna bring them home and cook them. Okay, folks, so we got our bag of bullheads right here and um, we're gonna start cleaning them up. Cause like, yeah, I don't know. It's time to clean them up. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty long day, but at least we found them. And at least we got the seven fish that I wanted to catch. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to show the cutting up process on on YouTube because that's it's not very pleasant. So yeah, I'm just going to cut them up off camera and I will see you guys as soon as I am done. Guys, look at this high quality filet we're getting off these nice little bullhead. Wow, that is that is nice. That is some nice meat. Okay, folks, we have finished cleaning all of our bullhead. And um, the meat looks really good. I think I showed some clips of it earlier um, while I was actually cleaning the fish. But yeah, like th the meat on the these fish look really, really good. It, looks, it just looks incredible. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It only took about 15, 20 minutes for me to do all that. So yeah, it's good. They're all done. All seven bullhead are fully clean. And uh, yeah. I did mess up on a few, I will admit that. So when you guys see them laid out on the frying pan, don't chirp me for my uh, 
bullhead cleaning skills. I'm not very good at cleaning bullhead, but we got him. We got him clean. Catch and cook was highly suggested in the comments. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of proud of this. Anyway, um, I don't really have much else to say at the pond. You guys saw the fish, you guys saw the meat. And, uh, and now we're, we're gonna go home and we're gonna actually cook these fish and finish the catch and cook process. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my kitchen right about now. Okay, folks, we have made it home with the catfish. And um, yeah, I am pretty, pretty excited to start cooking these guys. Now, I don't really know how. I think I'm just gonna pan fry them because that's probably the most simple way to do it. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna like butter up a pan and uh, put the catfish on the buttered pan and let them cook. That's that's probably the way I'm gonna do it. That, you know what, that's definitely the way I'm gonna do it. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how this is gonna turn out. I have a pretty good feeling that's gonna be a huge success, but uh, yeah, also I'm a little bit nervous that it's gonna, it's gonna not work out. But anyway, I'm not gonna let that uh, negative thought overtake the fun of this video. It's gonna work out, let's just say it's gonna work out. So yeah, basically, I'm pretty excited. I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna vlog it, but I'm just gonna show you guys steps with my camera of what I'm doing. Basically, I'll start with washing the fish and then go by putting, then just, yeah, I'll just show you guys the steps with the camera. But uh, yeah, that's that's what happens. We're That's what's happening. We're, we're here, we're home, we're in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty freaking excited to get this thing started. Okay, folks, so we cleaned off all our catfish. We got some nice fillets there and they're ready to go on the pan, which is right there. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say or do. I'm just gonna show you guys me putting them on the pan and I think they'll be almost ready to eat after that. Um, yeah, not very much cooking being filmed right now because I mean, there's nothing really to film, but uh, yeah, that's the next step in the process. Okay, folks, we have officially cooked the catfish. It is, it's good to go, it's good to eat. Um, yeah, like, it looks, the meat looks incredible. Like, I'll show you guys, like, this looks, this looks really good. I didn't even put any seasoning on or anything. I just kind of threw it on the pan and cooked her up. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm uh, actually pretty excited to try it. Like, I'm kind of proud of this, actually. Look at that. Okay, that was, that was good. Cooking was a success. It didn't tank like I was a little bit afraid of, but that's awesome. We got the uh, catfish all cooked up and ready to eat. And um, we're gonna do the taste test right about now, I guess. Okay, folks, it is uh, time for the taste test. Here we got nice little solid piece of bullhead meat. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. We're just gonna see see how it tastes because I don't know. It looks it looks like it looks really good. So yeah, it's just. It's really good. There's literally nothing on it. As I said, I just literally put it on the pan with the butter. But uh, yeah, it's it tastes really good. It was definitely worth. It was definitely worth the grind day to catch him. I will I will say that for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say in this video. The catch and cook has been completed, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty highly requested video from you guys. So I'm glad I could get one out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little catch and cook kind of deal here. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys on the next episode, I guess. Thank you for watching again and uh, see ya.